What's up? I'm Jacob Blitzo, your Elixir mentor. We are continuing to build out the GIST live view. And in the last video, we got our copy and delete buttons working with user validation. So unauthorized accounts can't delete a GIST. And in this video, we're going to get our timestamp formatted. So it's in an easier to read and understandable format. So let's go ahead and get started. I want to just pull up our designs here. And currently, if you let's see let's make sure our database is running mine is if yours isn't go ahead and press start um, command space terminal and let's seed into our project mine is in documents develop elixir mentor and then elixir gist and let's just spin up our project phx mix space phx dot server all right and then if we go ahead and open up firefox or whatever browser to 4000 if you remember we want this to say like created four days ago and currently it's just this ugly unreadable timestamp okay so one way to one way that we're going to fix this is we're going to use a dependency called timex and we can find that right here docs and so we're going to add timex to our dependencies and this just makes it very easy to format your data and so that's what we're going to use and see you can we're going to use relative and we can do things like that so we can get back like three minutes ago this was updated you know so instead of showing our raw timestamp we can have it actually make sense so let's go ahead and open up our project with vs code and let's open up our mix.exs file and just here at the very bottom do a comma and then opening and closing curly brackets and do a colon timex and then the version is going to be tilde greater than and then we can do 3.7 and then save that and if we go back to our terminal let's do mix git and we'll install that there we go and then we can we can run it again mix phx.server so now we have um, timex in our project we're going to enjoy the video show some love with a like and hit subscribe to stay updated to support me and keep the content free click join for memberships or pick up a course at elixirmentor.com and get free access to my private community let's jump back in add the relative format to our assigns map that is in our gist live.ex file so if we go to elixir just web live we want to go to gist underscore live.ex file and inside of our um our mount is where we can set our new time format because we want to have access to it from our assigns map okay and so currently we have our gist, but we can add our we can add our relative time to our gist struct. And then we have access to it from our Heeks file, and then we're good to go. So after we grab our gist that we're displaying on our view, we want to um, do our we want to do timex dot format. And we're passing in our gist dot updated at. So we want to know you could do inserted at. I think updated at because if you edit your gist, then it'll show that it was created, you know, when you edited it. And I think that just makes sense. If you want to do inserted at, feel free to do that. And then we're going to put a comma in. And the next variable is the format that we want back. And per their documentation, if we pull up Firefox again, we want to pass in relative like this in between two curly braces and then an atom relative. All right, so it's pretty easy. So if we go back to VS Code, we're just going to do curly brace, relative, curly brace, and then comma, and then just an atom for relative. And that should be all we have to do. But we do need to save this into a variable and this returns an okay atom so it returns an okay tuple with the value that we want 
And then also if there was an error, it would return an error as well. So if you want to error handle this, you can. I'm going to just pattern match as long as we get an okay tuple, we then have our relative time. And then there you go. And now we have access to our relative time. And now we want to add this to our gist struct that is in our assigns map. And that is pretty easy. We can just take gist and set that equal. And we can use map.put. And we want to take our gist struct that we already have. And for the key, we want to create a new key called relative. And then pass in our relative time variable that we just set. So now our gist struct has a key called relative and then we add it to our assigns map and we can access it from our hex file. So save this and then let's open up our gist live html.hex file. And then we want to scroll up and find our date. So right here, we're getting gist.updated at. All we have to do here instead of updated at is now um, do dot relative hit save and now when we go to firefox there we go so this gist was created one hour ago i think that's pretty cool so now we have our relative timestamp. we have that working we have our copy and delete like this is coming along guys we successfully added the Timex dependency to our project and formatted our updated at to display how long ago a gist was created. Um, we added this value to our assigns map to easily convert our timestamp to this format when our view mounts. So I think that's really cool. And now we have a readable timestamp. As always, if you need help or want to check out the solutions, check out the GitHub link in the description. Join my Discord server Elixir Mentor if you have questions or just want to hang out and chat. That link is in the description as well. If you want to learn how to build scalable, production-ready, full-stack, and REST API solutions, hit that subscribe button now. I'm Jacob Litzo, your Elixir Mentor, and I'll see you in the next video.